uh, hello guys uh, today in this video we will show how to we will see how to build a CNN that is convolutional neural network and uh, uh, my project is uh, on the Lamar uh, app I'm from uh, I'm from Lamar University, so my project is to identify whether it's on crack or no crack on the Lamar uh, roads, campus roads. So today we will build the image classification CNN, which is uh, which is for Lamar University's uh, road uh, road. Is there any crack on road or not in images? So for that, I have collected several images clicked by me, and uh, I keep I make two data set which is crack and no crack. So I have more than 500 pictures like that, 500 images for that. So here we will see how how can we build the CNN and uh, run on these pictures. So <clears throat> uh, let's start with uh, loading the libraries. So here we load all the libraries which are required. So first, uh, the CV2 is open CV library to read the images, and uh, I create two data set paths. So here, uh, in previous videos, we have seen that uh, we load whole data set, then we split the data into test and train. But here in the CNN, we have images. We have to deal with the images. So that's why we. We uh, provided the dataset path where the uh, where the model uh, from this directory it will extract the images and uh, uh, will run according to. For but for in my case I have uh, he H -E H-E-I-C images, so that H-E-I-C form in format images. So uh, that is high efficiency high efficiency images. So, which is highly accurate and highly compressed. So, I have to convert that into JPEG. That is not necessary every time because the HEIC, HEIF uh, format is not uh, supported in machine learning, uh, is not supported in machine learning model. Uh, so, we have to convert it into JPEG. So, I converted that. Uh, this is not necessary. That's why I comment, I keep commenting. And... Uh, Maybe someone require this kind of code, or the because I find I I I face this issue, so I had to deal with it, and it's take more than ten hours to take me. It's more than ten hours to figure me out, uh, figure out this uh, how to convert this HEIC to the <coughs> HEIC to the JPEG. So here is the code for that. Now uh, now get back to our main part where we have to make list of images so it will extract the images from the data set we data set path we have provided and make uh, making for two uh, like overall we will make four folders uh, two for training two for testing so two in the true for training is crack no crack and for testing crack no crack so it will be four folder training and testing so here i have provided i make a list of the crack Training data set crack and training data list no crack. So <coughs> if a folder name I, I make a folder name as crack and no crack. So if it find folder name as crack, it will pro, it will uh, append this uh, that particular image into the crack data set here. And if it find folder name no crack, then it will append uh, append this uh, data set into training data list. It, this image in training data, and I I did the same for the, the testing also testing data. So now our data set is uh, good to go. So now we will resize this. So uh, prepare we prepare the data set in the list. So now we will provide this uh, image size is 300. You can take it whatever it is because it's a big image. We have to resize it. So we we have to resize and make the consistency. We have to uh, you know put the consistency throughout the images. So all images will be in uh, first uh, in in uh, same for in same size. So here I make uh, image size is 300 uh, and I run this uh, CV2 dot resize first uh, read then uh, resize it by 300 by 300 here image size. And I run a for loop for every image and append it to the crack. 
and it will create the label if there is a crack image it will create the label of 1 and it, if there is a no crack image it will create the label of uh, 0 and append it to the uh, train label so after uh, doing this we will get the train data and train labels uh, so I did this the same for the testing data also so now we have resize images now we can we can we also in CNN we also have to remove the noise particle also noise noise but in this uh, but here we don't have that much noise so don't need to do that now we have to do some normalization so we'll I divided by 255 so it will be in 0 to 1 range and split the data into training and validation so I keep 20% as validation and then I do some augmentation to increase the size of data because the 500 image is not enough more than some 500 to 600 is not enough so I make a train data generator which will make uh, the uh, image on its own by the other images and it will flip or just uh, zoom it out just like that and here is our CNN model so here we have five layers <coughs> first of all is a convolutional layer then max pooling layer max pooling layer is the max po more popular layer for the this uh, thing so now let me explain you this so here is we have convolutional layer is a 3 by 3 matrix and the max pooling layer what it do is it will uh, run some active it will take one sorry it will take uh, A, B, D and E, this 4 and do some activation value here and uh, uh, put uh, some result here. So and same for B, C, E, F for this. So it will make 3, three by 2, 2, 2 by 2. So, <coughs> the, so that is the max pooling do from converting 3 by 2 to 2 by 2 and convolutional we uh, provide acti activation function as ReLU. So we did again. Uh, we did again that convolutional layer and max pooling layer. So we are narrowing. Uh, we are narrowing our the vector for one vector, and we, then we will flatten the, our image, our vector. So it will our image. So it will create go in a one-dimensional vector. So now it is ready to feed the model. Now it's ready to give the to the neurons. So we use sigmoid function as output uh, in the output layer. So it is dense layer, and when it is when when is a binary classification like this or uh, yes or no zero or one, we the sigmoid is a very popular function. So here we use Adam binary cross entropy for loss optimizer Adam binary cross entropy. Why we use binary cross entropy? Because uh, in the last videos we uh, we use the mean square error, but here we have. Uh, binary output that is a crack or no crack so it is binary cross and uh, classes two classes so it is better to use binary cross entropy which is very popular for this otherwise you can use a sparse categorical cross entropy if there is more than two classes so <coughs> that's good and now we fit the model so you can see the accuracy is uh, going uh, up so here is the 0.98 at the end and validation accuracy is 75% and accuracy is 98% so, and now we can use this data we can more use this model to the on the test data so we are evaluating the model and the test accuracy is 68% which is uh, average but uh, now uh, we can uh, we can more like uh, we can provide more epochs or run for more epochs so it will be improved so that's it and now i have to uh, we have to plot this graph like plot this so it is showing that the low well training loss is going down and minimizing at the end after 20 epochs and the accuracy is going up and it's like 98 percent something so <laughs> that's how we can do like uh, that's how we can uh, that's how we can uh, do for the identifying is that crack is there any crack or not in the Lamar University roads 
so yes that's it for today and thank you